Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to the String Bean channel. So, what have we got today? Well, as you can see, we're going to be trying out the demo version of Finnish Army Simulator. Apparently, according to the description, this is about life in the Finnish Army around about 2011. Now, it's not a serious um, army simulator, nothing of the sort. It's a parody. It's very humorous. It's quite a quirky little game. So, um, as I said, this is just a demo version. I think it's due out sometime uh, 2023. So, um, let's get straight into it, shall we? So, we're going to click New Service. Uh, we've got three levels in the demo version. As you can see, we've got basic training period, which starts off at day five. The next one will be basic training period, day 17, shooting practice with the RK1 rifle. And the third one they give you is day 23, which is tent building. So you've just got the three little scenarios there in the demo version. And as you can see in the full version of the game, you will be playing days from morning to evening according to the service calendar. Right, so let's start off with the first one. Oh, I'll just quickly show you the uh, settings that they've got at the moment. So you do have audio quality and input. We select the audio. You've got the volume level there. You can have the music and you can have the subtitles which you definitely want at the moment you've got quality some on 1920 by 1080 full screen fantastic dynamic weather is on all that other good stuff and then you've got the input which is just your invert horizontal look and uh, your vertical look Oh. When you want to uh, escape from the game, you'll just click Dismissed on the double. So let's get straight into it then. New service, and we're going to pick the first one. Basic training period, day five, cleaning service. Siirtymiseen aika kymmenen minuuttia. Varustus, oppitunti varustus. So this is obviously our barrack room. This is my little cupboard. I'll show you all this after we've done the, uh, the scenario. Hopefully. So we're just waiting now for the, um, the officer to come in to give us our orders. the army barracks Minute. whoop stand to attention sit down rather no niin tämähän alkaa jo näyttää paremmalta shouldn't I be sitting down oi jumalauta että mä tykkään kohta pääsee vittu tyhjentää lipasta männikköön niin että puskat vaan heiluu So you press any button to continue the dialogue. Um, whilst the dialogue is going on, you can't really look around. Niin. Kyllähän siinä on jotain hienoa, kun saa ihan luvan kanssa aseita käsitellä. Mutta niiden kanssa pitää olla varovaisia, ettei käy haaveri. Minusta aseen puhdistaminen on mielekkäämpää kuin itse rynnäkkökiväärin liipaisin mekanismin käyttö. Yeah, this Suhaka fella, he's a bit of a character. Älä nyt saatana! En vittu kyllä ymmärrä yhtään! Miksi meidän piti ne jo nyt putsata? Vastahan me ne vittu käytiin hakemassa! <laughs> Luuletko, että nämä aseet on meidän käytössä ensimmäistä kertaa? että ne ovat tuotu suoraan tehtaalta. So this guy is obviously a bit of a cleanliness uh, freak. Vittu, ei 
aivan samaa. Joku ne on rassannut puhtaaksi, niin minä kuitenkin. Siitä en olisi aivan niin varma. Hyvin luultavasti niiden viimeisin käyttäjä on konahtanut jo aikaa sitten, joten itse asiassa ne varmasti kaipaavat pientä huoltoa. Minulle on tärkeintä varmistaa, että edellisen käyttäjän bakteerit ovat puhdistettu pois rynnäkkökiväärini pinnalta. En halua käsitellä paljaan käsin mitään, mitä en ole etukäteen desinfioinut. Oot sekin yks satana siisteysfriikki suhakka. Voi vois vähempää kiinnostaa jotkut vitun siivoushommu. Jos sua noin paljon kiinnostaa, niin voit putsata munkin ryky jatkossa tai mä tungen sen sun perseeseen. Huomio. Seuraavaksi vuorossa on SIPA, eli siivouspalvelus. Te sitti sontiaiset olette sotkeneet parhaanne mukaan ja rypeneet paskassa, mutta sille tulee nyt stoppi. Tästä lähtien järjestetään kerran viikkoon SIPA. Siivouspalveluksessa siivotaan kasarmin tilat eli tuvat, käytävät ja vessa. Kasarmin tämä pää kuuluu teidän tuvan vastuualueeseen. Ja huomautus sotkijoille, että vastedes kasarmilla eletään siististi palvelusohjesäännön mukaisesti. Kukaan teistä ei saatana lähde syömään ennen kuin kasarmin lattia kiiltää puhtaudesta. Yhtään fifiä eli villakoiraa ei saa löytyä nurkista tai senkyjen alta. Kun siivous on tehty, minä ja kannisto tullaan tarkistamaan tilat, joten jos huomautettavaa jää, Teidän oman elämänne hopeamitalistit pistetään siivoamaan paikat <tos> uudestaan. Fun. Olisiko vapaaehtoisia erikoistehtävään? No niin, nönnönnö, sitä ilmoittautuu vapaaehtoiseksi. Saat antaa tyylinäytteen muille. Siivoat kontaten ja muut ottaa susta mallia. Se on saiki aivan be nonnönny. Hommi siitä. Right, so clean the barracks, building of dirt and garbage. Cloning by pressing Z. The garbage must be collected to the dustpan in your room. So what we've got to do is we've got to pick up these rolls of paper. Look, there's four of them, and you've got to click them into this dustpan and then after that we've got to uh, get on our hands and knees and dust the floor. So. Whoop. Oh that was close. That's one. Uh, let's try and get straight. Three, one more. Let's try and aim it. We got that sound four. Now Z to prone. You're waving your arms all over the place. Clean up properly. Time to crawl on the floor. Yep. Now, because this is a demo version, things will be missing. So I think they might add something like a, a mop or a duster. At the moment, we've just got our two hands to clean up with. Can't get under the bed. I 
think we're nearly there. No niin. Siivoaminen on eri mukavaa vai mitä pojat? Nönnönnö suoritus ryömien oli sen verran sotilaallista katseltavaa, että taidan määrätä tämän tuvan jatkossa siivoamaan aina ryömien. <hys> sen te olette ansainneet. Can I stand up, please? Trying to stand up. Now I can stand up. You mal out the maviha siivosta. Hey, poitsut. Ukasteista komeista uroista haluais auttaa mua siivoamaan. Vai yhtään inspa alkaa likaamaan itteeni. Why are you wearing slippers? <laughs> Sulta toi siivous tuntui sujuvan tosi hyvin. Haluisitko sä auttaa mua? Uh, ask um, what's his name Stranden over there. Mä, mä, mä voin auttaa. Mun nimi on Jere. Jere Strande. Hauska tutustua. No okei. Okay. Sä taidatkin olla tän tuvan alfa. Totta vitossa. Mä rakastan mo paavia miehiä. <laughs> I love a man with a mop. Joo. Mä vittu rakastan loppaamista. <tos> Todista se. Kuulitteks te? Se vittu haluu mua. <tos> And that's it guys. That is that particular mission over with. So that one was called One Hell of a Woman, 17%. Um, if we look at our inventory, obviously this is just a demo, so nothing's really populated. We've got a shirt, pants, belt. You can actually take these off if you want. And I haven't got the pants on. Let's click it, we can put them back on again. And you got your socks and shoes and slippers. Storylines. So this is where our storylines will be for each day, I presume. Skills. There's a little skill tree. So we've got Cheap John, Beast, and Hard Boiled GI. So you've got various. Uh, You've got the marcher, marksman, the athlete, the devotee, the costumer. Oop, that wasn't me burping. The outdoorsman and the tidy. So you've got various, what's this one? The glutton. 15% chance to gain one extra fitness point after all eatings. Oh, you can automatically pass all cleaning duties if you get that one. No penalties for wearing dirty clothes. Sleeps like a dog. Superb digestion. Oh, receives no penalties for brushing teeth. Oh, for not brushing teeth. And receives no penalties for not showering. You've got a little skill, skill tree there. Stats. So we've got soldierly. Soldierly increases when behaving exactly as you're told to do. Next one is fitness. So your fitness is mostly affected by all physical exercises and treats. And the third one is your sanity. Your sanity is greatly affected by any inconveniences and happy moments. 
some product can also temporarily affect your mental health. Okay. So we've got things like marching. So your marching skills will improve during each march. Same with athletics. Combat movement. Physical. Nutrition. Hygiene. Zoning. Military. Emotional. And it looks like you can get some medals of honour. That's a shooting medal. Granted for exceptional performance in a shooting test. A running medal. Granted for exceptional performance in Cooper test. I know what that means. A skiing medal. Orienteering medal. Granted for exceptional performance in orienteering exercises. Could be an interesting one. Non-commissioned officer medal. Or when you're promoted to corporal. And granted when promoted to an officer candidate. Sexuality, intoxication, entertainment. There are quite a few stats there. Uh, how do we get back? Well, that's it then. So that's the uh, basic training period, day five, cleaning and service. So in the next video, we shall do basic training period, day 17, shooting practice with the RK1. So I'll see you in the next one.